This single seat FA-18 Hornet traps. The arresting cable stretches to the breaking point. When it breaks, the plane quickly disappears over the side and into the water. What up guys? What up fam? Welcome back to a brand new, a brand new reaction video, man, here on the JTC YouTube channel. You guys really liked that first video I did a couple days ago, reacting to the US Navy flight deck. We got the brand new elbowed nautical star tattoo, and I'm feeling good. But uh, this video today, what you just saw is everyone's worst fear that works on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier. You know, we, we get taught about this, we're trained, you know, about this, about these incidents. We're forced to watch these types of videos when we're training. And, um, you know, it is very scary. It is something that you kind of try to put to the back of your mind when you're up there because it could happen at any moment, any fucking moment. You know, you never know. Um, if something fails, if the arresting gear wire fails for whatever reason, but you can't dwell on that, man. You can't dwell on that. That'll drive you crazy. You just got to do your job and you got to help. You got to hope that you're prepared. So we're going to break down this video. I'm going to give you guys a little insight into what you're about to see in one of the worst flight deck mishaps, man. Arresting gear wire snaps. Training saves the pilot who ejects immediately. This yellow shirt miraculously jumps the cable as it whips under him. Not once, but twice. So before we get any further into the video, I slowed this first scene down because something really stood out to me. Watch the bottom left of your screen. What you're about to see get thrown across the flight deck is a tow bar, an aircraft tow bar. I've moved those things around the flight deck. They're heavy as fuck. You can barely lift it up. And look how that thing just gets thrown across the flight deck. Let me play that one more time. That tow bar... I could barely lift one end of it up myself with two hands. I would have to do that all the time hooking up to aircraft. And that thing got thrown across the flight deck like a toy by that snapback. So just imagine that's somebody's fucking leg. You've just witnessed is a rare occurrence, but unforgettable for those who survive it. So up to this point, everything's looking normal. The F-18 looks like it's going to trap. And then this is where the, the wire snaps, right? now right there boom wire snaps the pilot he's very well trained you will see he ejects immediately right as the nose of the f-18 starts dipping you'll see the pilot eject out the aircraft boom there's the pilot shooting out you can see there he gets ejected and his parachute comes out now this next clip is insane everyone always sees everyone always is amazed by this this yellow shirt jumps the wire as it's moving a hundred miles an hour not only one time he jumps it but he jumps it again i don't even know how you would see that and look he gets some air too he barely clears it that is incredible because look what happens man this is what's crazy see that green shirt that's where i usually stand in the helo hold and he gets taken out just destroyed same thing as the red the guy in the red that is your um, crash and salvage crew, the fire trucks. They both got just taken out. Seven crew members are injured. Three in serious condition are immediately evacuated by helicopter. And the scary thing about this clip is everyone was in their right positions. Everyone was doing exactly as they were told. Everyone was following procedures. There's nothing you can do to avoid that snapback besides fucking miraculous, miraculously jumping over it. You know, the people that we saw, that you saw in the clip getting taken out, they were standing behind the foul line. They were standing behind the red and white line that I tell you guys you'd never cross. They were following procedures. They were in the helo hole. The crass and salvage guy in the red, he was standing right by his fire truck. You know, they were doing exactly what they were supposed to do. And there's just nothing you can do about that mishap. So that incident was investigated and it was found out to be a mechanical failure of the arresting gear machine. I was in the Navy four years active duty and almost two of those four years I spent on two different aircraft carriers working on the flight deck and I never experienced a wire snapback, but I did experience several F-18 tires exploding upon landing on the flight deck, which results in shrapnel. I did get pretty fortunate and was never hit by any shrapnel or um, never experienced the wire snapback or any F-18s crashing but like i said it's something that you have to just put to the back of your mind and you still got to go out there and execute do your job walk away with 10 fingers and 10 toes 
I don't know how I forgot to mention this throughout the whole video, but I served on this same exact ship 10 years after this incident happened. What we just watched happened on CVN 73 in 2003. I was deployed on CVN 73 in 2013. So it's just crazy, you know, how we come full circle and how I was standing in the same exact locations where we saw the green and the red guy got taken out. That's where I stood for fucking six, seven months straight. Mm. Thank you guys so much, man, for all the support. This is going to be wrapping up this breakdown video. You guys have been crushing it. You guys have been killing it on the channel. We're on these grinds, we're on these roads. We're about to hit fucking almost 36,000. I just said thank you for 35,000. Now we're about to hit 36. Pretty soon 40K. Pretty soon 50K. I want to be here without you. Social media below as always. Make sure uh, if you want to help support the channel more in these tough trying times on YouTube, check out my Patreon below. And let me know in the comments what more types of these videos you would want me to break down. Um, you guys, like I said, have been killing it with the thumbs up, with the commenting, letting me know, you know, the feedback. I really like breaking down these flight deck videos and teaching you guys what you're seeing. I have a lot of passion for the flight deck. It was one of the funnest, craziest experiences that I've got to do in, um, in my life. And I'll never forget it, man. And like I said, we go through a lot of training. We go through a lot of fucking training. So this stuff is ingrained in my brain. And um, it's just a lot of fun to revisit and to break down for you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Videos every day on the channel. We're on these grinds. Good boy, Papa. Papa, say bye. Say bye, Papa. Good boy.